Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, big shouts to the Minnesota Healing Network. Big shouts to the um, George Floyd Memorial Fund. And big shouts to, I mean, all the bail funds that we are donating to because a lot of people are, you know what? That's a soapbox for after this match. Maybe <laughs> mid match if I get into it, all right, depending on the move. But right now, let's get into this game right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also, uh, I know um, Shoe from uh, one of the. Like Southwest days, but yeah, he's one of the best zero suits there. Yeah, I think I've seen him play a little bit here and there, but I feel like the Midwest, or not the Midwest, like the Southwest, uh, doesn't get as much exposure as other regions, and their players are nice. It's kind of criminal if they don't. Yeah, one of the you know big reps for Utah is in best nest, showing uh, the strength of that region too. Uh, Grace Park says Colorado, from Colorado. Colorado, okay. Yeah, we don't see much of the Colorado suit, but she was definitely an amazing player. As you as you can kind of see right now, almost in the struggle out of F Smash, so. That wouldn't even kill, but it would like killed in the heart. Yeah, it's one of those moves that just like really demoralizes the kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and just like that, boost kick takes like five seconds, but once you get hit by one, you you are probably dead. <laughs> like if yeah. you're above like 130 or 50 on most characters. I'll try to yeah, do every every zero suit goes for that at least once. <laughs> you, you gotta make sure they know. Yeah, you gotta see if they know that this is uh if this is real or not. Yeah. I gotta have to that once in Smash Four, never again. <laughs> you know, it's pretty much safe play that we come to expect from zero suit. <laughs> I got a disjoint and that tends to work against zero suit pretty well, but I just think the. The Starbucks aerials is kind of easy for a Shu to maneuver around. Yeah, on top of just maneuvering around it, you see Shu going for a lot of anti airs so that AIV just can't get the pressure started. Especially on PS2, that's important because, you know, Nair Nair up air will kill Zero Suit probably starting around 60 before Rage, so. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if uh, Shu even recognizes that because he hasn't even been getting hit by Nair really when he's below a platform. Mm hmm. Yeah, I wonder if that's even maneuverability, but nice call out that right there by AIV. And prepare oh, yourself. Yeah, every time the book. <laughs> I actually have amazing taunts. I, I don't blame him. Yeah. Like the one where he puts a sword in the ground? That one's yeah. dope. <laughs> okay, uh, opportunity to get some strings here, especially with the platform assist as well. Oh, gotta watch out for that paralyzer though. Okay, she was starting to get tagged by these neutral layers a lot more than you did the first stock, and it's definitely not what you want, because once I start hitting those, at least so many kill options, but there's the Nair to the back here. He had so much time to hit that. Wow. Right. And also, like, I want, it looked like AIV DI'd away there, but, I mean, even then, ZSS has the initial dash speed to just track you down. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna hurt a bit. Up air. Oh, nice DI right there. Oh, a little bit too far away, but there's the F tilt to get the whip punch on the landing there. Only taking 31%. Now, not of their own possibility. Like, I can definitely make this up, but he's gotta mix up his approaches, I feel, because if he just does like a predictable nair to get like, something started, Shu can see through that pretty well. Oh, I thought he was looking for a ladder. The percent was looking a little bit close to just right up there. Yeah, hitting the ladder strings isn't as consistent as before, but it can definitely still work if you're mm. on point. Yeah, the windows are tight, but I think we're outside that window right now. Okay, this can be a big opportunity for damage. That hurts. Don't F smash. Yep. Yeah. He, a, he wanted a flip kick. I thought there was a flip kick coming. <laughs> Shoe thought about it. I can tell. Definitely. Okay, both of them are a little bit overzealous there, but my guy Whoa. is just gonna keep boost kicking <laughs> over, over and over. Wake up, boost kick on a platform against an Ike that's in the air. I, I bet. I respect that. I respect that. I mean, I didn't see it coming. <laughs> I don't know if AI are coming. Either. Yeah. Like, who, who thinks they're going to do boost kick the third time in a row, you know? <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> and from that position too, at least the other times, like he was on the ground that time, he was in the air above him. Like if um, Ivy full committed to that drift, that would have been game. <laughs> Yeah, falling there in that position could have been really scary. Yeah. Alright, so good stuff to shoe. Colorado coming through. Bars. And also speaking of coming through, we got Darth Narface. Took me a while to read that right. Darth Narface with $5 donation. Thank you. And guys, those donations are slowing down. West Coast, where are you at? Where are you at? Yeah, as a, as a West Coast commentator on stream, guys, uh... <laughs> Please, you can. All right. Great. I dropped my own 50 to help you all out, but West Coast. I was about to say, Koopa, he's East Coast too, so we claim those. Koopa with another $50. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Shout out to Koopa. He's also, uh, I think he was commentating earlier on BGPC. He's commentating now. <laughs> oh, right now? <laughs> yeah, I just woke up. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Flex. All right, and now I think Ivy remember just how potent of a tool neutral area is right there. Yeah, he's it's been a, throwing out a lot. It's like the cornerstone of Ike's offense, I would say. A lot of what separates like the really good Ike players from uh, other Ikes is just knowing how to mix up the timings on it. Because it is pretty easy to parry if you just keep doing it the same rhythm over and over. Yeah. But like. To parry, you have to know it because it's really hard to react to, even though it does have a distinct audio cue. I also thank you, Anmanaguchi, for another $5 saying, on behalf of Premium Snappy Girl. <laughs> we take those. <laughs> we'll take it. Again. <laughs> Shout out to Anmanaguchi again with another donation. All right, can you? Okay, still able to make that back. Yeah. Oh, that down smash range. I know why he rolled there, because it looked like he could cross up the down smash, but he still got tacked. Yeah, Ultimate's mechanics kind of biting him right there. It looked like he was near the end, but wasn't able to cross all the way through, so just kind of plooped back to the right. Yeah, get body blocked. A lot of people are still not getting the hang of that mechanic in this game. I'm people. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get bodied by that. <laughs> okay, again, we've seen another uh, anti air up tilt coming out from AIV. Not that easy to hit versus zero suit. It really isn't, yeah. She just moves so quickly that you have to just be starting it before she even leaves the ground. Again, going for that boost hit guy's shield, just knowing that he's going to fall on top of him with that neutral air, just barely missing it. And right now, I mean, AIV is looking for that neutral air so bad. You can tell, you can tell. That's He's all just jumping, floating the air, waiting for the right hit. Yeah, and she recognized that too, so but he's not making it easy for him to connect at all. Also, just Eichen is not being that fast. Uh, it's just difficult for him to really find a different approach outside of neutral air that can really hit zero suit, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I say sometimes that ZSS is one of three characters who can camp you in your face. It's because she has the frame data to make sure you don't do anything. Definitely. But AIP with <laughs> the snag there on the back end. Slow and steady, winning the race on that stock, at least. Oh, okay, I see a lot of Ike do that, but he definitely meant to uh, snap the ledge with the Oh, no. is he going to get the suicide? Oh. oh my god, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. Because <laughs> if you got the zoom in, you would have died first by design. So I've seen a, I've seen that a bit now. Um, that one is pretty hard to like mess up if you know how to do it. I, I actually haven't seen Ike uh, drop that yet. But, uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it a lot actually. Huh. It seems pretty consistent, but it's just a thing. Whenever I see it, I'm like, oh, that's the thing he can do. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so like even with the zoom in? Yeah, I, it's a lot of times I see the opponent die first. Huh. Well, I know Ike. I believe. Or sorry, I know Crom's is different, right? Like, the the Crom will uh, always die first. That's why doing it when uh, even stocks is not really something you want to go for. But I can definitely capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I see a lot of people, man. They just like, they get killed by Ike and then they come back against him. He's at the ledge, not knowing that he can actually just nair a bees. Yeah, it, it doesn't look worth to go near Ike when he's back at the ledge. So, uh, yeah, yeah, he's definitely bringing that one all the way back. I definitely don't think Shu expected him to be uh, using that game. But we're back on PS2 for the third time in a row. Kind of surprised. <laughs> yeah, you're on your own counter pick. Speaking of surprise, thank you, Darth Narface, for another $5 donation. All right, West Coast starting to pick it up. I see y'all. I see y'all. Keep it going. Yeah, keep it yeah, going. Keep, keep the donation train going, guys. Up oh, and EV Dog Club Dog. Where do y'all get your names? Not like <laughs> a shade name, but like I'm actually genuinely curious. I'm wondering like where y'all get them from, but thank you for $5. I wanted to know the story behind that name, okay? I it has to be something interesting. Oh great time on the eruption. I think he got him before he gave him the snack blood the upbeat. And this is the first time uh AIV's gotten the first stock. Oh. Oh. And that was short hit them right back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as soon as we gas it got the dude ups like just a little bit. It's a yeah. curse, man. We have great power. Man, it happens every time, <laughs> whether I like it or not. Yeah. All right, so even Sasuke. I think this is the closest game we've had so far. Mm -hmm. Both players are adapting to each other. This is game three. They have a lot of time to just, you know, figure out how each, each other is playing, especially since they've been playing on the same stage every time, too. Yeah. Like, we mentioned how surprised surprising that was before but i'm just really 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 surprised that ike on ps2 happened three times in a row yeah this is a great ike stage i would say yeah like this and battlefield are like his best two in my opinion yeah i like smashville as well yeah 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 smashville's nice too okay got a little bit of up air string here though from shu this is snagging the air dodges and the jumps wow, is that my Wow, Ooh. at 97%. Dude, Shu just got an up air and he just never let up. <laughs> I think yeah. a lot of it too was uh, AIV not mixing up his drift in the first stages of that. And then really, by the time he decided to go to the other platform with an air dodge, it was like already too late. Yeah, and plus, I think he uh, burned his jump a bit too early too. So unless you're, like, as I, you're pretty much out of resources unless you want to aether back down the ground. Which may not be the worst option, honestly. Yeah, with with no jumps, maybe even a quick draw would have been better. Yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see how uh, AIV comes back in this situation. He was in a similar position before and was able to turn it around. Definitely gotta be careful though. I can see Stu applying all the pressure here. Uh, yes, there we go. Do you have commentary at the IV? That's the second time that's happened. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. hmm. Thinking emoji. Wouldn't he be like a little bit behind though? Like if he was watching it from the street. True. <laughs> All right, you get off this time. Oh. Oh, okay. Quick oh, draw wow. trade. I guess we'll take it. Now we saw the zero to death before. I don't think she was gonna let it happen twice. Or maybe. <laughs> Or maybe. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I see she just playing to the other side of things. Like, all right, I'm not even gonna go next to him. By the ledge. Yeah. Just play a different game. Yep. She, yeah, she knows. I, he, he is all the way out. Yeah, that's one of those things you save for uh, the game three last stop. <laughs> mm. Uh oh, she might be a little bit too close. Oh, and is that it? No, it's actually not. You should be able to know. Oh, he didn't, Did he not he didn't have a, a quick draw? Huh. I thought he would have enough time to uh, charge the quick draw a little bit to get closer, but I guess not. 